Welcome to another spirit filled message on Christocentric message. If you're new to this channel, I would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well. I would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth, it's going to bless you. Your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then God is going to visit your home. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed. I'm trying to remember a scripture that the Bible put. Um, Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. I can't remember the, the, the quotation, but I remember the verse. Philemon 1 verse 6. Give it to us. There's no point struggling when we can read it. Philemon 1 verse 6. Can we have it? Okay, I'll just turn there. I just wanted to encourage us with that scripture. One moment, my dear, and I'll pray for you. Philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in Christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing God does Lord I had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her Go ahead, your name and your testimony. Praise God. My name is Gloria Faga. Yesterday you prayed about those that can't hear with their right ear. After the prayer, I was able to hear. Couldn't hear with your right ear? You're sure? How long? 20 years now. Um, how old are you now? Do you mind? <laughs> Hallelujah. Interesting. And, and for that long, for 20 years, what happened? Pinning me and, and, that was it. and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of Jesus the same way the Lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of Jesus Christ give Jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the Lord praise the Lord thank you thank you so much so we're discussing Acts chapter 1 and verse 8 now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction 
That's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles, carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves. They are celebrators of the finger of God, but they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth. He will do this and that. The Bible began to tell us all the things that Jesus would do. Now, let me tell you this. One of the things that I have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of Christ and his ministry while he walked on earth. Are we together now? And so most people still wait on Jesus to do what he has left the Holy Spirit to do for us. You have to listen to what I'm teaching you now. Are we together now? Jesus said it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying, come. Jesus was saying, he that told. I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind. Heteros, where we get heterogeneous, means of another kind, another species. So another person is coming and he is no different from who I am in terms of ability, in terms of purpose, in terms of function. It says when he comes, he will continue my ministry. Everybody say continue my ministry. So the Holy Spirit today represents to the body of Christ what Jesus represented to the apostles. Are we together? Most people, Jesus help me. Jesus save me. I know that it looks emotional. But Jesus has no business helping you and saving you today. He has already done that. He's seated at the right hand of the Father. Making intercession for the saints. That's the limit of his ministry now. The personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice, his plan, is the Holy Spirit. Are we together now? Yes. You pray to the Father, agreed. You pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he's somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk. 
with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of god keep proposing do you know what how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what god can do and then they never come into that experience there is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness the waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end and you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known he can be related with it's just that we have not been taught we've not been taught the usefulness of his person the holy spirit today represents the unlimited presence of jesus he represents the power of god he's the manifestation of the glory of god the holy spirit is so powerful he turned jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman what can he not turn in Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark void formless scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sitest thou idle they said no man employers he said go and a job came so you go to the Holy Spirit and say, Spirit of the living God, this joblessness, you represent Jesus to me. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. When the tribute, remember Jimmy's powerful teaching, when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life, it was Jesus that instructed Peter, go to the fish. And now you run to the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, my finances. There are bills to pay. I don't know what to do. I come to you. An extension of the ministry of Jesus. Are we together? Yes. Everything, literally, that Jesus was to the disciples, to the then civilization of man, is who the Holy Spirit is to us today. It's who the Holy Spirit is to us today. Jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life 
this is Jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent Jesus because he is not there physically you go to the Holy Spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting I'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the Holy Spirit we're going to talk about power in all you're getting get wisdom wisdom is the principal thing through wisdom is a house built and by understanding it is established join, join apostle, apostle joshua, joshua selman of eternity network, network international as he takes you on a journey into the wisdom of god's word it's intimacy it's partnership it's fellowship this is koinonia for a solemn assembly in this land please visit the land please visit everyone represented let there be the triumph of light over darkness Lord turn people's situations around in strange ways tonight in the name of Jesus Christ I'd like you to hug two or three people and tell them you are in for a strange experience. You are in for a strange experience. Please be seated. Hallelujah. I must take out time to appreciate um, the very unusual overflows that we have tonight. It's very strange. Hallelujah. And for me, when I saw that it wasn't it wasn't just something to rejoice as it were, but it became a burden to me. People never leave their homes and we made an extra arrangement for four overflows. But right now we're making arrangement. I don't even know if the fifth one will be enough. You see, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something with the Holy Spirit. Don't ever ignore him. I want to talk a little about him. We have ignored the Holy Spirit to our shame and to our peril. We have been indoctrinated by a civilization that makes the Holy Spirit look like an inconvenience to us. But it is mighty when god comes to walk with you your life becomes a wonder even to yourself hallelujah please i want you whilst you are seated open your heart and cry to god say god don't let me go back the way i came please pray everywhere any of the overflows go ahead and pray don't let me go back the way i came Please pray father I came tonight to take an anointing for my ministry let me not go back the same way I came tonight to have the gifts of the Spirit activated I came for my business I came for my family Lord let me not go back the same oh, 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 oh. Destiny. The exalter of those who trust. Make sure you are praying to him. Mm. Oh.
Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. Tonight is a very strange night. I've spent the night praying on these oils that you see. And I tell you the truth, what it will work in the lives of people will surprise them. I promised that I was going to take a few testimonies and I wasn't able to come as at the time, but I understand that there are a few very striking testimonies. Please let me have the, the details. Just Okay, go ahead. Hallelujah. Um, this is Usman Augusta. Okay. Jennifer, Jennifer John Oleku. Where is that? I hope they can hear outside. Please, if it's your name, ushers guide them very quickly so they can. Samaila Chindu. Grace Heman. You can put your hands together for them as they come. Gloria Jaja and um, Fatima Abubaka Besson. Okay, the following. Would you repeat it, please, one more time? Usman Augusta, Jennifer John, Oleku, Esther, Samaila Chindu, Grace Heman, Gloria Jaja, and Fatima Abubaka Besson. Are they here? Wherever you are, please very quickly make your way to the front. Acts chapter 1 verse 8. While we wait for them, I hope they are around. Acts chapter 1 and verse 8. This is Jesus speaking to the disciples now. And he said, But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you. It says, And ye shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and to the utmost part of the earth. Very, very interesting. It says you shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come. And he never said that power will make you a preacher. He never said that power will make you a prophet. He never said that power will make you an apostle. He said that power that you receive will make you a witness a witness listen very carefully i'm teaching now are we together now a witness is not a prophet a witness is not an apostle a witness is not even a man of god a witness is an individual who has been authorized to prove that jesus did not lie are we together when it talks of witness that's all right if, if they are not around or they are not within the vicinity that's okay we can continue with what we're doing a witness is one whose assignment is to prove the validity of a statement is a defender are we together now it's a legal terminology like you go to the the court of law and you are asked do you have a witness at the point where whatever action was taken was there an individual who can attest for you now remember we were not there when jesus died but the bible says there is something that the holy ghost can bring to our lives are we together now and he says that anointing that power can make us witnesses validators validators of the claims of jesus listen without a system for validating the claims of jesus there is no reason to be a christian are we together now yes it matters that the claims of jesus be validated in the life of the saints and in the territories where they are domiciled it matters that men know that this jesus that we seek and this jesus that we serve listen carefully it's not just a mirage it's not a doctrine He's not just theology that he's alive and lives forevermore. And there is the power that makes us validators. Are we together now? He says we shall receive the power. I hope that you people are not coming out of any pressure. Please make sure you are not. Are we together now? If we just have two of them, that's okay. They can just, it's just a token um, of the testimony so that I can fulfill whatever it is. Can we pause for a moment and, and, and then let's hear their testimony. Come, my dear. Just tell us quickly. I don't have your name here. Praise the Lord. My name is Jennifer John Oleku. For four to five years now, I have a lump in my right breast. But after the prayer last night, this morning I was dressing and then I checked myself. It was gone to the glory of God. Completely. The lump. How long? Four to five years. 
four to five years you check this morning yes sir. and it's gone completely hallelujah give jesus praise we do not take for granted you know you people are so used to miracles in this place when something happens you just laugh and um never get familiar with the presence of god it says that um how did he put it now I, i'm trying to remember a scripture that the bible put um philemon chapter 1 verse 6 i can't remember the, the the quotation but i remember the verse philemon 1 verse 6 give it to us there's no point struggling when we can read it philemon 1 verse 6 can we have it okay i'll just turn there i just wanted to encourage us with that scripture one moment my dear and i'll pray for you philemon chapter 1 and verse 6 that the communication of your faith might be effectual by the what acknowledging of every good thing that is in you in christ so the communication of your faith is effectual when you take note of the slightest thing god does lord i had headache yesterday and all of a sudden it's not there now the bible says it can boost your faith the communication of your faith is made effectual by the acknowledging of every good thing there was a lump on my breast and now i've checked and it's not there while i'm trusting god to give another miracle i do not ignore what he has done are we together now In the name of jesus may the lord perfect you never never returns again in jesus name come my dear let's give jesus praise for her go ahead your name and your testimony praise god my name is gloria faga yesterday you prayed about those i can't hear with your right ear after the prayer i was able to hear couldn't hear with your right ear you're sure how long 20 years now um how old are you now do you mind <laughs> hallelujah interesting and and for that long for 20 years what happened just that pain in me and, and that was it and right now you can hear with it which of them it will never return to you again in the name of jesus the same way the lord opened your ears may every part of your destiny be opened in the name of jesus christ give jesus praise thank you thank you thank you thank you hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord thank you thank you so much so we're discussing acts chapter 1 and verse 8 now while jesus was on earth please follow me carefully while jesus was on earth the bible lets us know that he lived an invincible life he lived a life of power he lived a life of intelligence he lived a life of grace he lived a life that was full of the spirit and when you begin to read john 15 john 16 jesus began to tell us please listen that he was going to introduce us to another comforter another helper now most believers read this and they just think that okay he was just talking to pentecostals please listen you have to understand this for what we are doing tonight to make sense are we together those outside are we together and so jesus said to them i have many things to tell you now but ye cannot bear them now how be it when he the spirit of truth is come he says he will guide you notice now jesus is teaching he will guide you into all truth he will take of the things that are mine and reveal to you the bible said it's the holy spirit that convicts the world do you know one of the things that i've learned about the miraculous is that miracles on their own never never change people are we together the disciples saw every kind of miracle in the ministry of jesus and even when he resurrected the bible says some doubted they saw the sick healed they saw the dead raised they saw whatever would happen happen but they had the effrontery to doubt jesus the scribes and the pharisees they were represented at every crusade yet with what they saw they still doubted jesus without the presence of the holy spirit there is no genuine conviction 
That's why you can see people clap over fantastic miracles, carry the testimonies around town and never change themselves. They are celebrators of the finger of God, but they are never benefactors of that grace. So Jesus began to teach us that the Holy Spirit has a ministry to believers. He has a ministry to unbelievers. And Jesus said that he will reprove the world, the fallen system of men, of sin, of righteousness, of judgment. And then to the believers, he will guide them in all truth. He will do this and that. The Bible began to tell us all the things that Jesus would do. Now, let me tell you this. One of the things that I have discovered is that most believers cannot separate between the present day ministry of Christ and his ministry while he walked on earth. Are we together now? And so most people still wait on Jesus to do what he has left the Holy Spirit to do for us. You have to listen to what I'm teaching you now. Are we together now? Jesus said it is expedient, advantageous for you that I go. Why? So that the comforter, the helper, the same word that is used for a woman in the life of a man, the helper will come. The helper will come. That means Jesus was saying, come. Jesus was saying, he that told, I represent the presence and the ministry of the Holy Spirit to you. But shortly I'm going to go away, but I will not leave you comfortless. Is that true? Someone else will come to hold your hands and continue. Is the Greek word alos parakletos. The word alos means of the same kind heteros where we get heterogeneous means of another kind another species so another person is coming and he is no different from who i am in terms of ability in terms of purpose in terms of function he says when he comes he will continue my ministry everybody say continue my ministry so the holy spirit today represents to the body of christ what jesus represented to the apostles are we together most people jesus help me jesus save me i know that it looks emotional but jesus has no business helping you and saving you today he has already done that he's seated at the right hand of the father making intercession for the saints that's the limit of his ministry now the personality he has sent on earth to represent his voice his plan is the holy spirit are we together now yes you pray to the father agreed you pray in the name of Jesus, but the personality sent on earth to work with the believer, to cause the believer's life to be an unfolding of beauty and glory is the Holy Spirit. Never claim you love Jesus and ignore the Holy Spirit. That's hypocrisy. There are so many people who love God sincerely, but the unbecoming of their lives and destinies and families it can be traceable to their ignoring the Holy Spirit. It's not that they don't believe in him. They know he is somewhere, one of the Godhead somewhere, and he's on earth. If you are interested, if you want power, go to him. And since I'm not a preacher, I know he's just there. If that is your understanding about the Holy Spirit, you will never become victorious. Weak people, feeble people, but the Holy Spirit came upon their lives and turned their lives into signs, turned their lives into wonders. They shook their generation. The Bible says, time will fail me to talk of Gideon and Jephthah and Barak. Look at these ordinary women. And in our generation, we talk of women like Catherine Kuhlman, people like William, um, 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 what's his name, Seymour, and all of these great ordinary people, born like any other entity. But when they encounter this personality and they dare to trust him, Look what he did with their lives. The Holy Spirit can change anybody's life. My life is a testimony. Don't trivialize the Holy Spirit. He will make a wonder out of your life. If you're with me, say amen. amen. We have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. Pastors have ignored the ministry of the Holy Spirit. I wonder what a pastor will be doing ignoring the ministry of the Holy Spirit. There's no ministry without him. What are you teaching? That's the reason why we have too much talk. 
with no demonstration of the validity when i talk of demonstration i don't mean falling down and rolling no i'm talking about the life producing power it says when i came to you i did not come with the excellency of speech but the demonstration of power that your faith will not be on the wisdom of men sophia but on the power of god we have a generation full of theologians and theoretical people and we men of god keep proposing do you know what how dangerous it is to keep wetting the appetite of people about what god can do and then they never come into that experience there is a difference between the waiting of faith and hopelessness the waiting of faith is that you are sure you have engaged what will bring an expected end and you are simply allowing the law of process to find expression. Are we together? The Holy Spirit takes ordinary people and turns them into wonders. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. Please let me burn this into your spirit in the name of Jesus. The Holy Spirit is not for men of God. The Holy Spirit is for all believers. He is a real person. He can be known. He can be related with. It's just that we have not been taught. We've not been taught the usefulness of his person. The Holy Spirit today represents the unlimited presence of Jesus. He represents the power of God. He's the manifestation of the glory of God. The Holy Spirit is so powerful. He turned Jesus to a seed and put him in the womb of a woman. What can he not turn? In Genesis chapter 1 when you read the Bible says in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth and then when you read verse 2 the Bible says now the earth was dark and formless and all of that just like the lives of several people dark void formless scattered families scattered into pieces and the Bible says he's the creative force that began to hover around and then God spoke let there be and there was and he said it was good remember the goodness of god cannot be seen outside of the holy spirit the only reason why it became good was because of the holy spirit i look at my life today and i imagine what a failure i would have become without him it's not about oratory no it's his presence we're all gathered today scattered around and people following connected from all over the world today from this location because of the holy spirit when you believe him in your life sister he will turn you into a wonder i'm telling you this when you believe him in your life this is not the issue of being a christian this is an issue of saying holy spirit you were sent by jesus to be an extension of his ministry everywhere you see the name jesus in the experience of the disciples you can safely replace it with holy spirit aside from salvation the work of salvation on the cross when there was no wine they ran to jesus so when there is no beauty and freshness in your life you run spirit of the living god you represent jesus for me jesus is not physically here in cana but i come to you and he says i you are correct i can bless you when jesus was moving and he saw certain people idle he said why sitest thou idle they said no man employ us he said go and a job came so you go to the holy spirit and say spirit of the living god this joblessness you represent jesus to me an extension of the ministry of jesus when the tribute remember jimmy's powerful teaching when the tax collectors and the wicked system of this world came to embarrass the sons of life it was jesus that instructed peter go to the fish and now you run to the holy spirit spirit of god my finances there are bills to pay i don't know what to do i come to you an extension of the ministry of jesus are we together yes everything literally that jesus was to the disciples to the then civilization of man is who the holy spirit is to us today it's who the holy spirit is to us today jesus sent the disciples and told them to go two by two and they returned in power they said master even the devils were subject to us through thy name and he said do not rejoice because demons are subject to us in your name rejoice because your name is written in the book of life 
this is Jesus speaking so now when you need empowerment to go and represent Jesus because he's not there physically you go to the Holy Spirit you have to be the one to send me to that meeting I'm going for that crusade there are blind eyes there are deaf ears there are all kinds of people the power of the Holy Spirit we're going to talk about power shortly but I'm introducing the person of the Holy Spirit it has been my cry for years that there be a generation that not only seek God as a hypothetical reality but that you can come to the Holy Spirit Facebook has taught us that you can relate with someone without seeing his face like some of you have friends you've had friends for years you've never seen their faces yet you have even been connected to their emotional impulses you know when they are angry you know where they are happy yet everything was through chatting it is possible to know a man without seeing his face hmm. how could you do ministry without the holy spirit what are you preaching sister how could you dare get married without the holy spirit what do you want to do with that marriage? Give birth when there is a wicked devil that wants to close your womb. Brother White, you want to get married without him? Don't you know that marriage is a triangle? He is the first person and then you and the wife are under. You go two of you like a string, you are in trouble. When two of you are apart, it is him that brings you back. The Holy Spirit. People do business without him. We carry our pride all around believing that we are educated and we ignore him. And we watch our wisdom fail in the presence of circumstances. How many preachers just come out with our accolades and we believe I have experience. I've been in the ministry for 30 years and it's very clear there's no result in our lives. Listen, I'm reintroducing the person of the Holy Spirit. You may have experienced his anointing but do you know him? Do you know him? He's the secret behind this ministry you see. This young man standing before you is dangerously in love with him. He is the secret behind this life that you so see and admire. For he truly brings beauty out of your life. 32 verse 15 Isaiah. Until the spirit be poured upon Joshua Selman from on high. And then this life that is an utter wilderness. Now becomes counted for a fruitful vine. And a fruitful vine be counted for a forest. He truly brings beauty and glory. I'm not asking you whether you are educated. I'm not asking you whether you can speak English. I'm not asking you whether your father is in politics. I'm asking you do you know him? He's brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You are brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. You see, listen, listen, brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. We live in a society where nobody believes in you. Don't sit down getting angry that they don't believe in me. They deserve to not believe in you. But you ignore them and walk with the Holy Spirit. Give him time and watch the wonder he will produce. He met a young virgin called Mary and said, Mary, the angel came on his behalf. Just believe and watch what will happen. That you can be pregnant without a man. That it is possible that because you did not have the privilege to have a godfather somewhere, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And the Holy Spirit says, hold my hand. And he said, Lord, I can't even talk like Moses. Don't worry. Hold my hands. And he turns you into a sign and a wonder. And people say, is this not the lady we used to know? Beauty and glory. That you, in a little one room somewhere, you are still struggling to raise 7,000 and pay. But you bring the Holy Spirit. I don't have a big house, but I invite you into my room. I tell you, his presence will squeeze you out of that room. And take you where it looks like him. That's the Holy Spirit for you. He's the lifter of men. This thing is not magic. It's not just prophecy. 
I'm telling you this. Listen to what I'm telling you. If you are a man of God here or you are called into ministry or you have the call of God upon your life, listen twice. Close down any ministry when you don't know his presence because you are on the way to utter frustration. I know this about him. He's brooding over all my darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. Lord, you are brooding over every darkness. You are causing lights to shine from darkness. I remember in 2004, standing and witnessing crowds like this in Reinhard Bonke's crusade. I saw what the Holy Spirit could do with a young German, not so educated, not so fluent. He didn't have, even have a lot of rema. He didn't have it. My God, but I saw a presence. I saw miracles. I saw transformation. I saw people who should not be in that crusade ground. You will know he brought them there. And I said, this is what I want. How could I do ministry and be lying to people and begging people? I don't think I'm as smart as people require for ministry i don't think i'm as intelligent as people require for ministry so i ran to him cover my shame cover my shame i may not have the opportunity to have been born by a billionaire i didn't have the privilege that society demands but cover my shame lord i admit that i'm weak and the holy spirit said hold my hand let's go let me tell you, it was a vision. This is where this ministry was birthed. By Sunday, Koinonia will be seven, uh, seven anniversary of Koinonia. But let me tell you this. I remember I was standing in that vision. I was standing and I saw a whole generation of people. They were crying. It was fear that took me there to that building. And I stood, I was watching. I could not see the end of the people. And I said, what is this? And then some of them were murmuring and they were saying there's no food and there's no water and then i said who is the cause and all of them were pointing to me and said, you are the reason why we do not have food and water and i said kai i have to go out and rescue this generation but i was afraid because there were wicked men outside waiting for me all of a sudden i took a bold step as soon as i opened the door I saw a giant man waiting and he said hold my hands let's go and that's how we started jumping building after building i remember one time i he jumped a building and was waiting and smiling waiting for me to come and i said if the secret is holding your hands then may my hand remain with you forever when that was happening you were not there but you were in the loins of prophecy please i i i don't know how to beg you don't ignore what the holy spirit can do in your life this power and these miracles you see is not just chasing around and saying lay hands on me god is not a fool walk with him and watch him surprise you walk with him i remember those nights when i'll just find a corner and just be praying individually you know when i see young ministers now and this our appetite to be known appetite to be seen i just nod my head and i say these gentlemen have missed it little power they want to be recognized everywhere they want to be known invite me for meeting call me apostle don't call me brother it's nonsense when his power smears you even to the father's part they said they shall call you you won't call yourself they shall call you ministers of our god there will be an evidence of his hand upon your life i remember the first notable miracle that happened of a gentleman then phones just came out and they were making calls somebody whose spine was fractured remember that miracle the guy's spine was broken into pieces completely and all of a sudden it was with that call it was in the night i was going to browse and then pray and all of a sudden i called that gentleman with a bracelet confirmed here and i think then it was um the other place there and all of a sudden with just one single prayer brothers and sisters that gentleman removed that thing and ran to his mother the only thing i had was jesus the next day the way you gather for funeral that's how they gathered in that house the father had the boy was healed they said who did this they said it's one brother joshua not apostle 
all these showmanship people move around today they don't pray they don't fast no mentorship they don't listen to anybody they just brag around saying i saw a vision i had a dream i saw a ministry sit down and walk with him don't ignore him and look for fame you would die young you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark you are brooding yeah. over my darkness you are causing lights to shine from dark i will never forget one day when i i spoke to the holy spirit about my financial issues and he said forget about that a time will come when god visits you he visits you completely there are times he says forget just you are walking with, leave the issue of finances let me work on you otherwise the finance thing will kill you there are people where you start with god there is there should not be mention of power in your dealings with god you will see God flogging an aspect. You can come to church, we teach about something else. When you are done, the Holy Spirit will say, save that book. We'll talk about it next year. Let's go back to what we are discussing. And you will see him talking about something that has no business with the subject matter. Allow him to work on you. Jesus. Jesus. When he's done with you, and he brings beauty and glory out of your life, you will look at yourself, and you will be afraid. You say, Lord, is this what you planned? Look at a poor village girl like me. Look at a poor village boy like me. And he says, that's exactly what I want to do. To show that there is this treasure in earthen vessels. To show that I can take the weak things. Oh God, I'm a poor girl from Kaduna State somewhere. Lord, I'm an illiterate somewhere in the south. He says, don't worry. Hold my hands. Don't al allow the proud system of the world that think they are the alpha and the omega of growth and rising walk with me do you know we have ignored the holy spirit so much where you talk about him like this people just look at it from the lens of intellectualism i'm not against that and they just look wow impressive sermon he's brooding over all your darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness, you are causing, you are causing light, light to shine from darkness. There are people who were looking for money when we were seeking his presence. Till today, they have not found it. Till today, they would never focus on him because of money. There are people who could not settle down. They were so obsessed about ministry and briefcases and PA and men and women following their ministry regalia and would not settle down to seek his presence. Till today, till tomorrow, they are still struggling. Some of them are not even in the faith again. Please hear me, Koinonia. Let's settle down with the Holy Spirit. Let Not just because you are a leader. Not just because you are a worker. Settle down with the Holy Spirit. And say, Holy Spirit, I'm not in a rush with you. Do with me whatever Jesus would have done with me. And you watch what you will become. The Holy Spirit will turn your life around. Turn your wilderness. You will look at yourself one day and say, is this me? Lord, what is this that you have done? When Gentiles begin to come to your light and kings to the brightness of your rising do you know because of the way the lord began to lift me and because of the way the lord began to lift this ministry i prayed a prayer i said lord i want to ask for a favor from you please do not show me the full impact that i'm making in the lives of people don't show me how far i have risen in the eyes of people just show me a token so that pride and self-centeredness will not destroy me let me just know i'm changing lives but don't show me how far my reach has gone and god answered that prayer it's still my prayer till tomorrow because i don't want anything to distract me let me not hear that there are 12 millionaires in america who listen to my messages every day and then you now say wow 12 millionaires in america that means i'm becoming a big man uh -uh. so god helps you by concealing the extent of your impact 
you are changing lives all over but you never know how far because he wants you to continue is god speaking to us why have we lived our lives without him let me just talk on three things thank you thank you doctor very quickly before we pray three ways the holy spirit works with believers three ways number one the first ministry of the holy spirit in working with a believer is supplying divine direction divine direction guidance guidance and direction guidance and direction let me show you something that i found while i was studying exodus chapter 23 and verse 22 powerful scripture exodus chapter 23 exodus 23 23 he said but my angel shall go before thee and bring thee into all of these people and i will cut them off my angel will go before thee and bring thee this was this you see the the people of old did not have a system of working with the holy spirit corporately and so based on their understanding the lord taught them every time he would say he was sending his angel to represent his presence are we together he says my angel shall go before thee not that you go and then he follows you before thee and he shall bring you to different regions the Hamorites, the hittites the perizzites the canaanites the hivites and the jebusites and i will cut them off i'm giving you victory but that victory will be through divine direction we will go step by step guidance by guidance place by place notice how god led people in scripture he took them from one place they would conquer this land then they would go to this land many lives many lives and many destinies today have been scattered into pieces because people guess their way the bible said there is a way that seemed right unto a man a preacher a businessman a father a mother he says but the end thereof are the ways of death my angel will go before you and guide you moses said do not let we will not leave this place if your presence will not go with us he says my presence will go with you and i will give you rest notice every time his angel his presence his angel his presence and when he leads them they return with great and strange testimonies many of us are yet to explore the leadership of the holy spirit let me teach you one big secret with the leadership of the holy spirit never take a step until you are sure he's the one leading you this our world of hurry for everything i just I, I just feel that my job is in uk you go to uk and live like a thief there whereas god has destined for you that is in a quiet bomb where you are he will lift you but because he could not direct you there are many people who want to do ministry and they think it's by running to america by running to wherever or running to abuja running to different places divine direction when god directs you it was never my intention to still be in zaria at this time no as wonderful as it is if it were on my own i would prefer to be somewhere maybe in one of the cities around the world but divine direction divine direction when you read genesis chapter 26 the bible says and isaac sowed in that land i'm sure that isaac wanted to go somewhere to run for the famine and god said no 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 for others they can go but for you the secret to your prosperity is hidden in that divine direction we do not respect his leadership he says the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want i shall not want the lord is my shepherd so i shall not want there are many of our families that are in pain today because we ignore the leadership of the holy spirit very powerful isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 isaiah chapter 30 let's hurry up quickly isaiah chapter 30 and verse 21 popular scripture about the leadership of the spirit in the life of a believer isaiah 30 okay it says and thy ears shall hear a word behind thee saying read with me everyone this is the way 
walk ye in it when ye turn to the right and when ye turn to the left that god will guide you on your way going he said this path looks good but this is not for you he said lord but other believers are following it he said that's it's all right but for you this is the path wait on me sometimes he can say mark time and remain in one place lord but others are going he says don't worry you are still moving you don't move because your legs are moving you move because my word is moving you so even when you think you are standing in one place it says you are moving because when you turn you see that you have gotten there you shall hear a voice from behind you hear me people of god you shall hear a voice from behind you saying this is the way oh you have a job but let him lead you let him guide you when god leads you he defends you where he has led you the, there are many preachers today in regions that god did not send them and they are struggling as if they are not anointed there is a place prepared for you only god guides you there when he sends you to your prepared place everything follows you favor follows you his mercy follows you ease follows you difficulty can be a proof among other factors that there is something you are ignoring about the leadership of the holy spirit in this kingdom we excel through divine direction not just efforts the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he leads me beside the still waters he restores my soul he guides me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake yea though i walk through the valley of the shadow of death i fear no evil why because your rod and your staff they comfort me stop living your life without the guidance of the holy spirit you can't live your life and be guided by movies guided by all kinds of godless books guided by individual opinions guided by cultural opinions it's time to return back and say holy spirit guide me if you are not in this let me get out three days before koinonia will start this 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 aspect of the ministry's activities three days i went back for a retreat to reconfirm from god lord are you still the one or is my ambition if god ever said i'm not the one that's it it's just to apologize i'm sorry i thought i had god but he's not the one never be ashamed to retreat from whatever you are doing when you realize god is not in it sometimes is this our pride that keeps us in trouble when you find out that oh i used to think god was in this but now i'm realizing from growth that god was not we still come down and say how will people really know don't put yourself in trouble everybody say divine direction let me just give you one quick secret on how you see you must understand the voice of god this is generally speaking you must understand how god speaks i just need to give you one one direction just one scripture that i found that really blessed me john chapter 10 verse 35 the voice of god must always agree with his written word and must always agree with his character of operation remember the bible says the kingdom of god is in three things righteousness peace and joy the moment these three forces coexist the kingdom of god is within that environment and here's what the bible says it says if he called them gods unto whom the word of god came and the scripture cannot be broken your experience will not break scripture he says the word of god came to them and the scripture cannot be broken just because a word came to them the word that came to you and the word that is written must agree the word of god came to them by revelation but the scripture can still not be broken because the word of god came so the speakings of god will always be consistent with his written word and will be consistent with his character because there are times that what god is speaking about you may not find a direct scripture for it but the character of how, how god operates must be consistent are we together 
most people hear every kind of nonsense from the pit of hell and they say yes lord from the beginning of the voice to the end of it it contradicts everything god please don't let anybody threaten you with any prophetic word and anything that is not consistent with the written word of god are we together yes if you look at me now and prophesy to me and say apostle i saw you having an accident tomorrow i keep quiet and hear you if you stop there you didn't hear god because the spirit of god will never stop there if it is it may be true that you saw an attack but then continue it to prove that it is god i saw an accident but i am speaking by the power of god's word to stop it but i saw an accident and that's it no sir no sir no sir i saw that your wife is a witch congratulations i have continued let me hear that's it that's all just leave her no sir that's not god god does not speak like that if you claim to be a man of god and your wife is a witch you are foolish you are not anointed it means you are not even a man of god because your ministry should be demonstrated day and then the validity of your anointing should be proven there let's be careful we have ignored scripture and so all kinds of words you see people just fighting one another in the name of dull visions that are not consistent with the word of god the devil uses the faces of people when god wants to lift you he will now try to use a face of a man of god or somebody you respect and come to you and press you and you get up in ignorance and say ah, you do not know that satan can masquerade as an angel of light the bible already gave you that information i must balance this issue of the voice of god because satan has mastered the art of deceiving a generation that is not sound in scripture we are so passionate about the prophetic which is important but we must balance it especially for we who are men of god there is always that drive to give people word and we communicate words that are not consistent there are things i've seen about people i know that is an attack from satan but i also know by the power of the word that revealing that thing to them will not edify them it will destroy their faith so i withhold that prophecy and rather intercede for them because there is a spiritual level they must mature in for that prophetic word to benefit them god sends the word your maturity guided how it was delivered say the voice of god please let's be careful i'm not teaching you to hate the prophetic i'm not teaching you to be cynical i'm not teaching you to see a man of god making mistakes in delivering the prophetic and then getting angry at them but please let's be careful because some of us have already been swayed by the deception of satan we get up and we hate everybody we hate every man of god every woman of god because of all kinds of false visions fabricated from the pit of hell he said even if an angel brings another gospel that means satan can masquerade as an angel of light it's one of the greatest reasons why men of god should pray before coming on the stage i'm not praying when i come on stage for miracles to happen with all humility i will lay hands on a goat and it will come and stand here and the goat is blinking and you see people falling under the anointing you will think he's charm that's anointing but the accuracy of delivery is why we pray that oh god superimpose my weaknesses and my humanity so that your word will pass through all my limitations and still become spirit and life to your people that's why we pray we don't just pray for miracles and signs and wonders to happen the anointing is there to make it happen are we learning something the voice of god must never come um must never relegate the written word of god in your life the second way that the holy spirit functions in the life of a believer is by giving to us divine strategies everybody say divine strategies say it again divine strategies we win in this kingdom through mysteries but the mysteries are a revelation of a strategy go and read it when you go home joshua chapter 6 and verse 1 to i think 21 or thereabout verse 1 to 21 21 verses talks about how jericho was destroyed 
it was not just destroyed because god was powerful it was destroyed to a divine strategy nowhere in the bible was that strategy used again are we together when you stand before the challenges as a ministry i remember when this ministry was starting i went to god and i cried to him i said lord what there is a general financial strategy but what is the financial strategy for this ministry that will keep us pressure free and not allow us manipulate anybody and here it came it was revealed another ministry may try it and it may never work for them there are ministries if you sell free materials I mean, if you give free materials like your salmon and the rest, there may not be any other avenue for revenue. There are people who do that just because they want to copy and their finances go down and they suffer for nothing. You must receive a divine strategy. Lord, in this marriage, what is the strategy for training our children? In this marriage, what is the strategy for living in peace? You can get the general communication. But you must stay with God to receive a unique strategy. Lord, in this ministry, what is the strategy for ensuring efficiency? Say divine strategies. That's the Holy Spirit for you. So he leads you divine guidance and direction. Number two, he gives you ideas, strategies. When you stand before any mountain, let me give you an advice. Like the mountains that stand before you tonight. Don't be afraid. There is a strategy. God has given us the strategy for tonight. Is that true? God decided to anoint this oil and say with this oil coming on everybody, I will work wonders and strange results. It's a strategy. It's a strategy. So he gave us a strategy to fast and wait upon him for seven days and then round up with this mystery. This oil was in my room all through the night soaking in the presence and the glory of God. It's a strategy. Are we together let me tell you one of the ways i prayed on this it was in a, in a big it wasn't like this i literally opened it and i was confessing god's word and speaking and laying hands you will think the oil cannot hear I've, I've taught you that this is a living thing this is ordinary oil but when the anointing comes the same word i'm speaking to you is the same word receiving it is just like someone speaking to you directly it's more than just oil touching your head you will see what it will do in your life hallelujah hmm. jesus spoke to water and asked the people to fetch it and go and they were going and the water had what jesus said and it started changing to wine jesus jesus spoke to two fish and five loaves they had him and he commanded them to multiply and told the people go and start serving when they started everything was multiplying there were 12 baskets the third way the holy spirit ministers to the saints is by granting access to power access to the anointing just talk about this briefly and then we'll pray so we've spoken briefly about divine guidance and direction please those outside i know i know you're writing make sure you participate no matter how far just find a corner if you cannot write at least listen divine direction the lord is my shepherd the angel of the lord going before you number two strategies revealing to you mountains fall not because of the effort that is put but the strategy that is applied every military person will tell you that the difference between um being victorious or being victims in a war is the strategy that is employed and then number three access to power supernatural power acts chapter 1 verse 8 but ye, Koinonia, but ye, Joshua Selman, shall receive power. Kabbalah Kotia. Power is the word dunamis. You shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And it shall make you witnesses unto me. Both in Jerusalem, in Judea, Samaria, and to the utmost part of the earth. Peter was speaking in the house of Cornelius in chapter 10. And in verse 38 of Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it says how God, listen now, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, the word born on earth from Nazareth, but still had to be anointed to be efficient. Just quoting scripture does not bring you result. The word must be anointed to profit you. 
how God anointed the word with the Holy Ghost and with power and he went about the word see listen the written word becomes the sent word when it is anointed it is the anointing that turns the written word to a sent word you want to write that down that the written word becomes the sent word when the anointing comes upon it how god anointed jesus i understand how god anointed paul i understand how god anointed peter but god anointed jesus the word until then he was the son of the carpenter but the anointing turned him to the christ a sent one and the bible says he went about doing good for us to understand this we must go to genesis chapter one and see the things god say are good he calls creation good he calls plants coming out of a barren ground good so there are things that are do you know the bible says he went about doing good comma and then healing all they that were oppressed so it's good to heal is god is good to produce miracles signs and wonders but there are other needs in men's lives their finances the assault of wickedness in their lives the struggles that the devil tries to put them under the yokes of bondage the bible calls it good you do that with the anointing listen you never bless men just because you are kind it takes the anointing to do good lord just bless me so that i can help people pay their rent you see my heart your desire is not enough brothers and sisters there is an anointing that empowers you are we together now then you can prosper and do good doing good is warfare because satan will fight it lord i want to get first class so that my getting first class will give me an opportunity and then i will rise and glorify you that glorify you is what satan had every other thing is jargon he had glorify you and he says fight him in his final exams cripple him with sickness let something bring him down it takes power to subdue the wicked forces that trap down the lives of men when members come one week two weeks one month two months they give you two months of their lives and there is nothing to change they will not come again let me tell you don't even waste your time to think they will be sympathetic you look at them and say ah, i didn't see you in church again say pastor i'm busy say lie there's nobody that is busy people are looking for solutions if there is no solution they will give excuse then one day they'll say please don't talk to me again i'm an adult i can choose to come to your your church or not that means they are telling you i'm tired i made up my mind that i will never be a powerless man of god when you are a powerless man of god you are not only bad you are wicked because you will be like that fig tree that attracted men jesus himself fell into the temptation of that fig tree he ran and came there and stood where is the fruit and the tree said sorry he says come and jesus cursed it in anger and said no fruit will come out of you again tonight we need power brothers and sisters we live in a wicked world there are some of you here in your whole family you are the first that will rise it takes power to rise there are families that when you rise an alert is sent to the realm of the spirit and there are controlling powers that for decades have sat upon the destinies of men they dare not hear that you want to rise he's going abroad and you see an uncle just come in and say i heard that you are going to london say by the grace of god uncle say congratulations you shake his hand and they just call you somewhere you wake up the next day one leg cannot walk the other day your ears cannot hear well are we together by the friday your passport is missing powers he said through the greatness of thy power every village including my own has witches and wizards they know i'm on earth it's not that they love to leave me to do ministry power power kabbala kotaya he said behold i give you power exousia power step into my shoes step into my office listen i'm trusting god that after tonight you will no longer be at the mercy of principalities and powers there are some of you who cannot go to the village the last time you went what happened to you even you you were scared but now 
you go to the village and overnight in three hours you hear that things have you were not praying oh you carried something mysterious to that village two weeks after your arrival you see five buildings springing up a development that the devil has refused anybody that organizes crusade in your village never finishes after two days he's sleeping and he dies come on now the devil deceives you listen i have studied satan carefully because i didn't like the way i was afraid of him my fear of satan was getting too bad and i said no i can't be afraid of satan like this i need to settle down and study him one of the ways you conquer fear is to study what gives you the fear and look at it and say what is in this thing really what is in it what is in satan that threatens people i found out the strength of satan is ignorance satan works with information he plants that seed to you so a spirit you are sleeping in your house and you hear something on your zinc that's satan now he knows and watch what he begins to do he used that experience to plant pictures in your mind what could be there hi an arm robber is there no not an arm robber the other day that's how my grandfather said anytime you hear that sound barrenness is inevitable any and listen he's working with your mind you are you are having faith in that thing the moment your faith is there because whoever believes there shall be a performance it doesn't matter what you believe you hear that thing in your zinc and get up he that cometh from above is above all jacos kata let me tell you the truth the devil will go back there are demons when they send them to people they disobey say no 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 they disobey the implication the risk involved in that espionage is too risky devilish harbor is somewhere they carry your name because a brother say he wants to marry you and you say no then he carries your name to a herbalist and the man has the effrontery to call your name let him try it after tonight listen listen i'm not motivating you i'm demystifying satan this fear of satan is why many of us never rise i cast out devils almost every day and i sleep sound Go and ask them. And nothing shall by any means. Whatever I do against God has nothing to do with Satan. This is between me and God. The law is nothing shall by any means. So that you don't just say I was angry. I shouted at my wife today. Hey, hey, hey. Satan is coming. You are joking. My shouting at my wife is God. I owe an apology. As for you, the casting remains so. Regardless of the condition. Nothing shall by any means listen to me i'm preaching to you don't let satan deceive you no sir god is not like that we have misrepresented him and it has given access access for the devil jesus finished whipping people and flogging people in the temple and went straight for a crusade and casted out all kinds of devils do you believe what i'm sharing with you the anointing it is the anointing that brings favor it is the anointing that brings increase there are some of us anything they give you remains like that forever there is no potential of growth i have seen people in my life listen i have seen people in my life that have been surprised you see them 10 years ago you see them 10 years later and ichabod the glory has the, they are still the same way same house same room same financial level i say ah luta continua victoria is scattered that's a cost never say that thing the bible said the path of the just it takes power to keep shining in this wicked economy that we live in someone just sees you and say uh -uh, you are the last born in a family of 12. what audacity do you have to say you will feed us there are families where is the women that feed the men do you know that no matter how hard working you rise up as a man something must happen to crash you shout no way, no way. Hapa. 
there are families the men never reach 50 they must die and leave the children for the innocent women you see women old women in a place where are the men some of you they've already told you that the moment you are 25 there is a stranger that comes to you there is a secret nonsense marriage in fact there are some of you you did all kinds of occultic things by your parents you still have rings and the rest and now you are born again and you are now asking those demons have refused to go there is something you can engage in let me tell you that will shatter that yoke into pieces when i discovered who satan really was i stopped wasting my time i said so this is what has made me afraid you are not even the worst of all spirits come on now satan's assignment is to magnify himself in our lives he loves it when he's magnified out of proportion now don't get me wrong those who claim satan is cheap and he just give away i hope that while you are claiming that you have the requisite arsenals to ignore satan just as a result of pride and say i can just quote a scripture he will eat you up and spit you out don't get me wrong satan deserves that honor for being a cunning serpent for many years it is through knowledge that the just is delivered not through bold face for nothing are we together listen nothing changes in your life until the anointing comes you have to believe this hmm. time will never change anything in your life time will never change anything in your family time will never change anything in your marriage time will never change anything in your body when god wants to help you he introduces the anointing the holy spirit the custodian the conveyor of the anointing are we together in the bible when men encountered the anointing it spelled a change of story in their lives it was very clear that when the anointing came upon them it was time ordinary people in the bible aaron and his sons moses joshua down the line when the anointing came upon them they changed in strange and mysterious way someone is changing tonight someone outside is changing tonight you you may be among the crowds hear me some of you are even at the overflow there you are just standing and watching and saying god could you be talking about me yes sir yes ma he's talking about you don't mind what they have said about you let the anointing come on you and you will watch your life brothers and sisters change in a way and manner that will surprise you i have seen what this anointing can do to people i have seen people change in supernatural ways this anointing can translate to the power to get wealth that in two weeks two weeks 14 days a man's life can change he will be like god what is this what is this a gentleman shared with me one of one of my boys shared with me um a, a story very very touching uh, testimony the mother had been following this and i think it was just yesterday night or so the mother got an alert from somebody of over 300 and something thousand sent to her yesterday i don't know if she testified here or it was read. i said they should come and testify think about that it takes power you have been tolerating a lot of nonsense in your life tonight you have to be angry and say lord i'm tired of getting angry with satan i need the anointing i need the grace what you are receiving tonight is impartation impartation is a transference of possibilities impartation is not the rubbing of oil on your head you can carry ordinary oil that you can use to fry egg or or cook rice and just say love blah, 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 just and rub on your head and you just rub something to make your skin moist it doesn't produce it, it, oil is not a charm this jar of oil you see will do you no good until it is anointed so it's not just because there is a jar of oil are we together now the jar will not just do you good just because it is anointed many people idolize oil idolize it those things in themselves don't give you any power it takes power to come upon them by a vessel that is anointed to make it anointed tonight brothers and sisters i agree with god for you that your life will change tonight i agree with god that there will be expansions and explosions 
what will this anointing do to you tonight or do for you tonight number one this anointing that is coming upon you tonight will bring you into a dimension of strange favor write it down you need to know what the anointing will do because you've been receiving all kinds of anointings but what was spoken into the oil you have to believe it god has given us samples of breakthroughs in the course of these seven days favor is real favor can happen to anybody anybody strangers can arise to favor you yes sir you can have money and not have favor that you have money does not mean you have favor favor is not about money coming favor is about men coming and whatever they come with that includes money but not left for money alone if you have money and you don't have men coming to your life you don't have favor favor is known by the strange coming of men to come and meet your need not to come and inconvenience you the second thing that this this anointing this impartation that is coming upon you is a strange grace for multiplication it's called the meme shark anointing please believe it there is a grace that can come on a man's business upon his career upon his ministry and take you right from wherever village you are and give you a voice it gives whatever you are doing wings in the spirit it's true can turn a musician's life around can turn a businessman's life around can turn a preacher's life around you are there seated and god do you know I don't know how many times i've had these testimonies some of you listening know it's true how many times angel appear before people in meetings and transfer koinonia messages and leave they come as human beings a service is going on or after a service give strategic people messages and then just walk away and go angels don't just act as if they are foolish they act in response to what the holy spirit tells them the anointing is the director of how and why angels function understand this is working in me is working in me it's god's ability god's ability is working in me it's working in me listen the third thing this anointing will give you is unusual influence please believe it influence is not something you bully people to get influence is not an issue of age influence is not even an issue of i've traveled abroad there is an oil there is a grace he said because thou has loved righteousness and hated wickedness even god thy god has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows there is an anointing that can give a man influence there is a strange grace that can give you influence among your contemporaries you are the last one but god gives you a voice listen you know one man of God was talking to me one time and said, Apostle, how come it looks like in your ministry you never lack excellent hands? And I tell him, you can't look for those people by putting CV. There is an anointing that draws people. That draws a kind of people. You will find the best of the best of everything in this ministry. It's not pride. I'm telling you the secret today. It's not just some searching around the internet to say you are good. Come. No. There is an anointing that brings them. When that anointing comes upon you, God can bring just five people to your life that will give you what 10,000 people cannot give. It's not always about quantity. It's about quality. God will give you two friends that will be equivalent to 90 friends in your life. The grace for influence i have seen how men of god have ignored this grace and they have tried to bully men of god they have tried to bully others they have tried to usurp on young people you are my son you are my daughter by force you are my this just because they are hoping they will use the people to climb 
it's not about all those things it's not about being mean you see me greet people here after service i'm hugging the children because this influence and honor is an anointing it's not by doing bold face and acting look i don't play child's play all that one is is is, is complex when that honor is on you people will look at you and not know the reason why people are strangely loyal to you the anointing brings loyalty in a strange way that's why god must make sure you walk with him so you don't take advantage of people listen people don't just become loyal to a man just because no 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 it's not about giving people money you can give somebody money who will insult you tomorrow loyalty is not just by faking it's not even by wearing good clothes you can wear anything you want to wear there is an anointing politicians know this that's why they go to Habalis and collect charm and find out that it's like a whole territory becomes loyal there are great leaders who oppress people pastors who oppress church workers they are looking for loyalty you are praying for somebody you hear somebody say ah Ejimi is praying for me no I'm the only one you am the boss in this place that's insecurity this grace for influence can sit upon your life and turn you into a wonder i have seen what people has have done to this young man talking to you i've had to beg people to cut down on certain things so that people don't persecute me and say human beings are worshiping me influence influence it's not by manipulation there is an anointing that brings for influence and it's with all humility i say it you don't go around any part of this city and see one single poster one single handbill not for anything yet there are people there sitting on the fence look at the people that have come sitting on the fence five overflows there about seated everywhere over 47 nations of the world brothers and sisters it takes an anointing it's not just grammar i'm not the smartest preacher I'm not the deepest preacher in terms of revelation. I pray for you that this grace will come upon your life and change you in a way that will surprise you. Hallelujah. I travel all the time with the head of department of media. And um, there's it's always a team of uh, from worship team, media, and then the protocol. And he asked me a question. I think it was early this year. He said, why don't you allow that the photos you have snapped or the encounters with some of the big people in this country why don't you allow let's put it on facebook you know ah this guy snapped with this this guy snapped with this one and i told him i said it's not necessary it's not necessary that you see me snapping with um for lord Rinsho, like it, or snapping with this person and i say oh you mean this guy he has met the vice president he has met this all those things are human ways of trying to get this anointing if this thing is on you bar it's on you period if it's not on you it's not there it's as simple as that it's not about all this manipulation and so you go and borrow a jeep and sit down and say great is thy faithfulness it's not your car you are looking for respect no or you go and steal the picture of a crowd i'm not i'm not being sarcastic please don't get me wrong and say well there is a revival 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 and you carry another man's crowd and put and put pictures of somebody holding crutches whereas is why fake what can be real in your life there is a grace for influence lucifer carried it the anointed cherub that covereth he can cover a territory with his ideologies I have seen people on this earth with that anointing i have seen business people with that anointing i have seen families with that anointing hill song that's the anointing walking there you see those young boys just strumming their guitar yet you don't know what takes them all over the world there are people carrying that grace joyce mayer you listen to her and you are sleeping yet you cannot know why her book will go even to your village you go to your village and see somebody reading the book and you are wondering and say my cassette my my what they call it my my cd i waxed an album i'm just a few kilometers to my village it refused to enter there there is an anointing meme shark the strange grace that's what happens to the messages that's what happens to what god is doing in this ministry do you believe that this can come upon you yes sir 
can come upon you. Number what now? The fourth anointing that I believe and I trust God, I trust God with all my heart that you will receive is an anointing for strange signs and wonders. Strange signs and not just signs and wonders. Strange signs and wonders that through your own hands, the things that God will do to you will begin to surprise you. We just started the, the public relations department this year and I remember one time meeting with the leaders and they were telling me of the dramatic miracles that are happening while they pray for people on phone. Now, these gentlemen love God and they are filled with the Holy Spirit. But probably they did not, they did not anticipate that you can casually just pray. There is an anointing that can come on a rod, a rod, ordinary rod, and it will pass the Red Sea. There is a grace for signs and wonders that somebody comes to you and says, Sister, I hear you attend Koinonia. I cannot meet apostle, but I hear you attend Koinonia. And you say, what is it? He may be busy, but let me pray. He has prayed for us. That grace is working. Say, you say, let's just pray. And you say, Father, I lift up my voice to you concerning this woman. I hear that supernaturally they need 500,000 by 10 o'clock tomorrow. I agree with you. And by 1 a.m., the woman gets an alert, 500,000 dot. She will run to you and say, woman of God, what did you even say? She won't call you sister again. It takes a woman of God to produce that miracle. That you can go back home and say, I came back from an impartation in Koinonia. And your father said, what, does, what good does that do to us? Go and see all the letters that are piled in the table there. Number one, they have said your mother is dying. Number two, they have said your other sister, nothing is wrong. Number three, they have said your sister is about to leave her marriage next week because everything is in shambles. And you say, can you just give me a few hours? You carry those letters and you know that these hands are an extension of the hands of Jesus. They are not just instruments to eat because something came upon it. And you say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I agree with you. I agree with you. And all of a sudden, by the next day, that man is sleeping and an angel of the Lord appears. Why are you doing this to my daughter? Behave yourself. It is because of this your heaven is not closing. And she wakes up in the morning and the guy is there kneeling down. He said, let's, let's make this work. Let's make this marriage work. Are we together? Some of you will take this anointing back to your churches. And God will use it to help your various pastors. You know that they are sincere. Some of them love God and they are crying for these dimensions. But how to access it is what is not there. And God says, can you help that man of God? He loves God. But the reason why the church is going down is because there is no supply of this dimension. Signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. Supernatural signs and wonders. The last thing that I'm going to pray for is grace for a dimension of kingdom wealth and prosperity that will surprise you. If you don't believe it, you can write the other four and leave this one. It's unto you according to your faith. I have told you, I am very vocal. I love the Lord by the grace of God and with all humility. My passion for God and for the things of the Spirit has been vetted by the body of Christ. And so when I teach about finances and I talk about this, it's not in any way to promote carnality. But I will never sit down knowing the benefit of kingdom wealth and prosperity to the quality of your life, to your children, to your family and kingdom advance and deny that dimension finding expression. It's a grace that is upon my life. It's a grace that is upon this ministry and it's a grace that must speak in your life. I think his promise that says it so beautifully that entering into a level of wealth and abundance will reduce your prayer points and increase your prayer life that your prayer's time will be spent worshiping god not saying oh god this rent oh god tea oh god there is no sugar and you find out that you waste six hours crying needless cries oh 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 oh
trust the Lord that this mantle for wealth, this grace for wealth, if you don't believe that there is such an anointing called the power to prosper, I've taught you that there are three dimensions of wealth. There is transactional wealth, wealth that comes by selling your value, whether your education, whether uh, an idea, whatever it is that you take. There is transformational wealth, wealth that is given on account of a perception of your impact in the lives of people. But the third dimension is called sovereign wealth, wealth by the finger of God. By the finger of God. All of them are important. But brothers and sisters, for some of us, the emergencies in our lives require God showing up like the man of war that he is. We are going to sing this song one more time. And I want you to open your spirit truly. Because as this impartation happens, as this oil comes upon you to round up these seven days, we are going to sing the song and then we'll pray. Please, I want you to be tired of where you are in life. Be tired of where your family is. Hey, hey. Oh, oh, oh. works in this kingdom that we understand the systems of the kingdom and we engage them through knowledge and change not a few people command complete transformation complete transformation hallelujah let's pray father say it again father in the name of Jesus Tonight, Tonight I, declare I declare that I'm tired of my current level. I'm tired of where I am. I'm tired of where my family has been kept. Tonight, by your anointing, lift me to a new dimension. Open your mouth and begin to pray. New dimension in ministry. New dimension spiritually new dimension in finances pray oh lift your voice and pray shakata pata keta da banata pata de to wata lata keta shakata shakata keta shapata keto kete shalata eli to wapa
Hallelujah. Isaiah 10 27. And it shall come to pass in that day. Tonight is that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. That the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke the yoke of delay the yoke of retrogression the yoke of begging as a generation that yoke shall be taken from off your shoulder Check. he said and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing say in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, every cause, every yoke, every spell, every enchantment over my life, over my family, I declare that by the anointing, it is broken forever. Lift your voice and pray. Pray. Oh, Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the authority. By the authority. In the finished work of Christ. I declare. To principalities. To powers. To, powers, to familiar spirits. To familiar spirits. That tonight, that tonight I have been called, I have been called out, of tribe, out of every tribe, every covenant, every, covenant, every, enchantment, every enchantment. The sins of my fathers, of my fathers will, no will no longer work in my life. I exempt myself. Lift your voice and pray. Every covenant. Rika to kapala gatia, ito palate, shipata, ipala gatia la makosa, ipala bata 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 bata, rika 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 that has covered my glory that has covered my every glory every veil every veil that has hijacked my honor that has hijacked my in the name of jesus in the name of i jesus. tear that veil to pieces lift your voice and pray cover your glory this is arise Shine, 
Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I speak. I speak to every area of my life. To every area of my life. My spiritual life. My spiritual life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My body. My body. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My finances. My finances. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. Family life. Family life. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. My career. My career. Hear the word of the Lord. Hear the word of the Lord. By the anointing. By, by the, the anointing rise to destiny rise lift to your destiny. voice and begin to pray every aspect of my life rise to your place in destiny hear the word of the Lord Hallelujah. Two more prayer points. Ah, yeah, yeah. There's fire burning in this place. Listen, the Bible says, listen carefully. It says, Saul, the son of Kish. Kish lost his donkey. It left him. It was his means of livelihood. And it left. As soon as they encountered a man with an anointing, the donkey started going back home. Are you ready to call back things that have left you? Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every relationship. Every relationship. Every opportunity. Every opportunity. Every unction. Every unction. Every access. Every access that left my life. That left my life by the anointing. By the anointing. I call you back. I call you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Business opportunities, educational opportunities. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. I call you back. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, favor, favor. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. You are a dimension of the Holy Spirit. I open up my life. I open up my life to your influence. To your influence. Lift your voice and pray. Favor. Favor is not just a thing. Favor is a spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I'm going to be guiding on how this oil will be distributed and I'll give us instructions. But in the next two minutes, please. The specific issues that must live your life now not tomorrow listen now if you don't have faith for it now pray on something else are we together now there are things in the bible that say as they went but there are things that the bible say immediately listen release your faith i'm not a fool release your faith don't just sit down and say can god make a wilderness overnight Abba, we're talking of god here If it's time for you to get pregnant as a wife, don't just look and say, I've not met with my husband. No, 
you get pregnant at the instance of the word of god you are sick in your body there is a load of challenge on you there are demons oppressing you there's all kinds of fire on your mountain it's time for you to have a testimony open your mouth in one minute and tell the lord the things that must live your life Every one of them. Every one of them. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, please listen. Please listen. This is this is the crescendo of this seven days prayer. Many of you, what God is about to do in your life now, it will surprise you, ba? truly speaking, in a way that will make you respect God in a fresh dimension. Hallelujah. Now, there are so many people, and this is what will happen. Um, I'm going to appoint a few people now. In this auditorium, there may be just three of them. And then, overflow one overflow two overflow three everything from the the last place of the fence of cgc right there is overflow four and then those standing at the back of overflow three just at the back of overflow three that's overflow five are we together now so this is the main auditorium so you understand what i'm saying overflow one all the people here overflow two right from wherever till the end of cgc fence overflow three is the main um the, the 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 space outside there overflow four is everything from the end of cgc's fence to wherever people are now and then overflow five are those who are standing across the corner right to the other street there that's that's the overflow this is what we are going to do please make sure that this oil comes upon you even if you have a child even if the child is sleeping just touch the child you don't have to fetch the oil and try to idolize it it's not about idolatry just a touch you can take one if you like put on your head and did you bring all those documents we are going to pray just leave them don't worry leave them there we are going to deal with them please be patient with me and let god surprise you tonight are we together now except it is not god that has instituted what we are doing some of you you will not even be able to share the testimonies you will watch it will be people will ask you which charm did you hold what happened to you there are some of you in ministry that will go back after tonight you will you will stand like this and say so this is how god works this thing is not trial and error god is a god of systems are we together now so i want you to agree with me as we pray please no distraction forget about this is not husband and wife now this is you standing between you and god this is not neighbor we came brothers and sisters leave anyone you came with this is your destiny with god now is not the time to laugh and pinch around like the devil who want to cheat many people now it's at this time where he told elijah if you can see he was looking but he said if you can see there are some of you as this oil comes upon you all of a sudden your eyes will be open and you will see strange supernatural things so be sensitive hallelujah be sensitive um what will happen is there are five five so we can do three three that means three bowls here yeah? we'll fill it with the oil we'll keep adding and then three outside please protocol work so that we can arrange it please i know that there are lots of people the protocol people are smart enough they have been trained everybody will receive of the oil especially for overflow four and five please our securities please help us so that we don't have any chaos everybody just be patient the oil will get to you 
don't just try to hold it and try to turn it in a jar all alone be patient be patient if you have a bottle of oil after service i can pray for you on it but for now just cooperate please let's not make the place rowdy and let there be no fighting just cooperate with any official you see within your area and in a few minutes will be done while all of that is happening the worship team will be leading us and then we are going to pray in the name of jesus christ we lift up this jar this is ordinary oil you have led me to pray over it but father i pray by the anointing of the holy spirit we are not acting you are real lord prove your power in an unusual dimension tonight in the name of jesus lord i pray for every single person upon whom this oil will come those who are online you can get any bottle of oil or anything around you and connect by faith as i'm praying is reaching you there lord we call this the oil of strange results we call this the oil of wonder we call it the oil of favor we call it the oil of influence we call it the oil of increase and expansion we call it the oil of revival let prayer lives jack back to life let the gifts of the spirit be activated let mantles come upon your people in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare by the anointing of the holy spirit father strange dimensions in the name of jesus strange dimensions strange fire strange dimensions strange dimensions in the name of jesus be the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker the first partaker in the name of jesus the first partaker of this grace be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus please come and hold this be the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ be the first help him please the first partaker of this grace in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus now pastor jimmy will be here he'll be standing here victor um the protocol please coordinate it it's going to be very fast um just bring the jars turn them now turn them turn them quickly let's just fill them and then we'll go to the respective places please let's be in an attitude of prayer what you're going to do is just follow as they direct you once they receive it they'll go down there someone hold the jars i believe there's still some more you just touch it on your head don't touch it on any document don't worry we are coming there you return back to your seat you are blasting in tongues and prophesying everything that must appear in your life are we together now thank you lord jesus lord we pray that let there be miracles right now in the name of jesus so some of you will be watching them so that the ones that are almost finished as you can hold one you can stand here whoever is standing with me aaron please the rest speak it to your various places father we anoint this oil and in the name of jesus as it comes upon people let there be strange results from the main auditorium here overflow one overflow two overflow three overflow four overflow five change the stories of people in the name of jesus christ i pray hallelujah god bless you go ahead quickly quickly please we cry holy 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 Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, holy, yeah. holy, holy. Come to Yeshua, Shekinah is here. We cry, holy, 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 holy.
Rekete kata bata kata bata kato. Rekata bata kata bata kata kata kato. Sheketa bata kato. New dimension. New level. New dimension. First fruit victory. First fruit victory. Keep praying. Don't stop. Keep praying. Shaka parakoto sutabala. I'm moving forward. Strangely manifesting the glory of God, defying all the laws of men, defying the expectations of men, rising by the spirit, rising by the anointing, rising by the spirit. Don't be tired of praying. Something is happening to you. Something is happening to you. Prophesy over your finances. Prophesy over your health. The word of the Lord is upon you. The word of the Lord is upon you. No devil can stand this impartation. The word of the Lord is upon you. No curse, no spell, no divination, no enchantment. We are breaking out at last by the Spirit of the Living God. The word of the Lord is upon you. Send sent by his anointing keep praying don't be tired you're doing something to your spirit man the hand of god is upon you things are shifting in the spirit doors are opening ladders have been created bridging your expectation and your results outside pray those online use the oil you have upon your head and that of your family members and begin to pray in the spirit call for the things that be not 
don't doubt what you are doing this is how it works don't doubt what you are doing don't let the devil plant unbelief and make you think you are wasting your time no you are not the Lord will so surprise you Something special, supernatural about your name, Jesus. Something happens when I man. Hallelujah. Hold on. I know that there are still, especially for those of us in the overflows, we are still making contact with the oil. Don't stop. Just continue what you are doing. But please listen to me. Please listen to me. Hallelujah. I want you to pick up any point of contact that you came with. There is a strong anointing that I sense upon me now. any point of contact your document certificate whatever it is job sack letter court case letter whatever it is he said be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be made known let your request i want to pray for you listen let me tell you this i have learned by the spirit if you don't have any point of contact you can use your hand your hand is the symbol of your work your hand is the symbol of your productivity i have learned that everything on earth can hear it just depends on who is speaking are we together god has not called you i know for many of us this thing looks like is some form of for many of us this looks like it is some form of nonsense others will watch and laugh and you there at your house or wherever it is you are connecting with us from around the world it's not too late if there is nothing write your challenge and lift it before god and say lord this thing is not giving me joy your certificate whatever it is there's more oil here if there's anyone in need of it please make sure you participate all the overflows i want to pray i want you to believe if you have never believed a man of god in your life please just believe this once the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall he be established he said believe in his prophets this thing you see is not a vocation it's not something a man chose for himself i want to pray for you from the depth of my spirit i want to put an anointing upon those items i don't care what it is some of you are lifting your jam sleep for your jam tomorrow some of you are lifting your certificate you've been a graduate for 10 years 20 years no job some no promotion some is a threat letter by anything a court or whatever it is i want to pray for you I just need you to believe to agree with me some of you is your business ideas some is your crashing business some whatever it is 
now in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god the one who gave this anointing i decree i speak over every document and every point of contact represented in the name of jesus i command speed upon that document in the name of jesus christ for every document lifted that is a threat a challenge to a family to an individual to your reputation in the name of jesus i veto that situation now i veto that situation now every document lifted that is a certificate or a means that can be exchanged for value and the devil has grounded your certificate you are all graduates in your family but there's nothing to show for from tonight in the name of jesus i give that certificate a voice in the realm of the spirit i give it a voice in the realm of the spirit i command it to bring jobs to you i command it to bring opportunities to you in the name of jesus christ you don't have to worry you know the song and don't you be afraid joy comes in the morning troubles in the last away Listen to the song carefully. Who will wipe your tears away? And if your heart is broken, Shabala Kataya, just lift your head. Hey, I know that I can make it. I know that I can stand No matter what, no matter what may come my, my way, way. My, life my life is in your hands hand. With Jesus I can make it With Jesus, I, with can Jesus make it. I can make it With Him I know I can stand With Him I know I can stand No matter what may come my way hallelujah listen there is no giving up in this kingdom uh -uh. there is no did you hear what i said there is no giving up in this kingdom i want you to go back to the archives of the things you have left and say lord i'm taking it back that dream that business i started it by january by march i was crying but at your word i'm going back again I'm going back you are faithful let them laugh at you you know hold on please I was studying um, I think it was last week or so I was just studying a video on the great inventors the top was it 10 or 20 inventors in our world you know right from the time recorded history and I was reading through their lives one by one I only got to number five or six and I stopped and I told myself I said Joshua Selman don't you ever complain again i said my god why didn't they teach us the obstacles that these men had to cross why do we approach our lives as though something unusual happened go and read about their lives the history makers and see how they smash records when people told them you will not make it they said my life's goal is to prove to you and many of them were christians brothers and sisters the bible says that unto principalities and powers that it will be shown the manifold wisdom the manifold wisdom you don't look like it but that's why it's called his grace you don't look like it until his hand comes upon you and they say why you and you say go and ask him oh go and ask him go and ask him I'm motivating somebody and I'm speaking to you let me tell you something brothers and sisters God is dependable kill fear in your life 
when we start to pray i like you to pray with all your heart and as you pray i like you to trust god you may feel the pain of the sickness but as you pray you warn it and say just a few minutes i will only be patient with you for a few more minutes and you are leaving my body and living forever you may not be sick in your body but you have myriads of issues that only god can step in financial issues health issues i like you to bring it before the god of your salvation and say god i know you are able oh. i don't know how you would do it witchcraft in your family demonic things and say lord it will end i know it i know it no job no destiny no joy he said I'm, I'm before you i'm not before a herbalist i know my god is able open your mouth in one minute personally talk to him if you have to talk to him in your language go ahead those outside pray lord i believe you once again hallelujah i believe you once again the god of my salvation the god of jeshuron i believe you again for my family i believe you again for my academics I believe you again for my marriage. I believe you again for my children. I believe you for my finances. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. It is still my year of triumph. You are dependable. You are reliable. Talk to him. Tonight is a night where my dreams are coming alive again that anointing that ministry that business in the name of jesus in spite of the mockery in spite of the shame in spite of the mistakes in spite of the setbacks in spite of the failure i arise like a giant rejoice not over me my enemies though i fall yet will i rise yet will i rise my god is still alive i know his name jesus the son of the living god pray i came to him the one who can change my life change my ministry You are here working miracles. I worship you. I worship you. You are here wiping every tear. I worship you. I worship you. Way may miracle walk, promise me light in the darkness. That is who you are. Way may come, may listen listen to me don't ask how it will happen when i stepped in i heard i heard i think it was mary i have followed the issue of her dad when some of us here are related to police people and all of that i'm just using her story for an illustration when she told me about the miracle that happened i said god i fear you because what was happening they were supposed to shoot and kill her dad that's the punishment for the supposed offense but when he steps in this my god god is not a man oh god is not your neighbor god is not a landlord god is not a president he's not a governor god is not an ambassador god all by himself 
when he steps in all of a sudden he begins to shift things listen brothers and sisters hear me i want you to believe god to shift things this is this is my assignment believe him to push things in your life in one minute i like you to mention every challenge you came here with and say lord i believe you you will change it go ahead go ahead and pray lord i believe you you will change my financial situation lord i believe you you can send helpers my way men are still on earth lord i believe you you can lift me lord i believe you you can give my life speed if you came here for this service tonight pray pray i believe you Hello, him at of night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at of night, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him at of night, thy kingdom come. I will be done. Hello, him at Hello, him at Hello, him at Hello, him at hallelujah tonight is the last miracle service for the year please i don't want you to miss out on anything there is a very very strong anointing to bring performance performance listen 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 to me please now you see because of the nature of the miracle service some of you want i may not be able to call everybody one by one to speak to you the purpose of calling is just to give the holy spirit room to address as he brings but let me tell you this i've told you again and again calling people and talking and all of that is you can see how, how much time sometimes can be spent talking to one person the most important thing is that your faith is released to say lord turn my life around listen don't pray a cheap prayer tonight lord turn everything around 180 degrees turn it around turn it around turn it around let my life change it is within your power to make it happen hallelujah hallelujah now listen we are going to start tonight praying for the sick first there is a very strong healing anointing in this place and we are going to pray for the sick brothers and sisters i want you to believe god that any demonic thing that has latched onto you it must leave you sickness is not the will of god not near it are we together sickness is not the will of god and shortly i'm going to be asking sick people to come out in all of the overflows i want us to focus on sick people and pray all the other things we can do a quick work but it takes a lot of time to minister to the sick and we're going to do this very fast 
but i want you to maintain an attitude of prayer but before then i want you to lift your hands please i want to pray lift your hands i want to pray tonight is a night of breakthrough we're coming there but i have to pray i have to pray for breakthrough hallelujah just keep your hands don't say anything don't do anything hallelujah keep your hands please let's just walk with the spirit of god breakthrough the lord is bringing breakthrough now when when you hear me say this it's not just about those who fall under the anointing and shout the falling under the anointing is just an evidence it, it doesn't it has totally nothing about it's for you to receive it doesn't mean that you see someone fall under the anointing and say wow this is the one god is touching no i'm teaching you how to receive you receive by faith it has nothing to do with falling or not falling are we together now you receive by faith what is breakthrough the grace that smashes the limitations that stands before you so that you move forward there is a grace that does that i want to pray for you now jesus i see fire that's what i'm seeing this is this is I'm, i don't know what kind of flame what color this is now but i'm seeing that grace inside and outside right now i stretch my hands it's coming on people right now receive it now don't worry I stretch it just keep your hands lifted right now it's coming on people overflow one two three right up those online is a grace don't say anything just lift your hands that grace is coming on people I'm telling you I'm seeing doors these are like doors I, I've seen this many times but these are like chains chains doors opening I'm stretching my hands to you right now let's just allow God to what he's doing Shabakata, the breakthrough grace, the breaker anointing, changing people's lives, changing people's lives, changing people's lives. Right now, in the name of Jesus, receive it all over this building, all over the overflows, all over the overflows. Enough is enough. Enough is enough of those challenges. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. Don't worry. We're going to do a, a quick walk. God is bringing something. He's still bringing breakthrough. And the Lord is telling me to tell those people that this grace is coming upon. I'm hearing in my spirit, December 2nd. This is from now till that time. December 2nd. A strange walk. Strange walk of the spirit. Strange walk. The breakthrough grace. The breakthrough grace the breakthrough grace you don't have to bring them out we're going to ask the sick to come just hold them breakthrough grace I stretch my hands breakthrough grace there are families that must enter this anointing now enough is enough said the Spirit of God there are families that must enter this anointing I provoke that grace let it cross borders in the spirit and go to families families shabatakata families lord bring them into this grace families the overflow three i'm seeing god touch a lot of people there this breakthrough anointing overflow three overflow three there is a strange move of the spirit happening there god is touching people this breakthrough anointing many of us need breakthrough we don't even know we need it impossibilities turning impossibilities turning breakthrough breakthrough let's just allow that grace land and we'll pray for the sick breakthrough you will be surprised to see the testimonies that will rise from it breakthrough i stretch my hands again breakthrough that grace that grace that grace shabata breakthrough that breakthrough grace i'm seeing a few people i'm seeing fire rising from their feet this is still breakthrough this is still breakthrough F 
fire rising like from a man's legs upward fire at least 17 people i'm seeing scattered across in the name of jesus let it rise lord their destinies are at the mercy of these encounters let's just participate and allow the lord do what he's doing is the river that fire burning every chaff is a year of triumph it must happen to you it must happen to you hallelujah praise the lord now we're going to pray for the sick i'm praying for the sick first because the lord is going to move in a very very prophetic way in this place tonight and i want us to pray for the sick very fast now watch this please if you're sick in your body you came here for a miracle overflow and uh, let's see those in overflow one those under the anointing just let them be those in overflow one you are going to come out here um okay inside i'm part of overflow two the ones at the roadside maybe half of it you can join them and come here if you are trusting god for a terminal disease now a terminal disease is something that is somewhat a death sentence please whether you are in overflow one two or three i want to lay hands on you by myself a terminal disease a termin that means something that is a death sentence you know maybe uh, hiv aids or a cancer or something like that and please don't just come let's not crowd this place there are ministers that are going to be ministering overflow one come um out at your projector stand inside here come out part of overflow two join them and then the remaining go to the front of your projector outside overflow three i want all of you to come up and we're going to pray very very fast it's going to be a very quick walk god bless you quickly please come now you're coming out come and line up here quickly quickly overflow one please come out quickly while they are doing that i like us to begin to pray and say father let every sickness represented here bow to the name of the lord jesus lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray let every sickness bow to the name of the lord your people have come to you the healer as we worship in your presence there is healing the Holy Spirit's gentle touch is flowing Jesus we believe Jesus listen I want you to believe God for miracles so that you can be perfectly whole to serve the Lord you must reject sickness from your life hallelujah praise the lord please pastor jimmy um let's see you go to overflow three you and promise overflow three i think there should be many more people if there are many more people there then we may add some other people um jimmy and promise will go to overflow three um pastor alpha you are at overflow two um Benga and Kenny, you'll be at Overflow 1 outside. Mike, you join um, whoever is you know, going to Overflow 2. I think that, that would be okay. Those online, release your faith. Go ahead, guys. In the name of Jesus. Father, we decree and declare, let the corporate grace of the Spirit flow in this place. Let there be signs and wonders through your Holy Son. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. Let there be signs let there be wonders in jesus name i pray now please listen i don't want you to be distracted remain in that prayer mode as we pray for you i want you to check yourself i want you to do what you couldn't do even as you return to your seat and whilst they are praying god bless you guys go ahead no we're fine praise the lord 
and as soon as we pray then we're going there will be massive deliverance and prophecy here i want us to be as fast as possible the worship team will set the atmosphere for us please everyone i want you to pray you may be seated where you are you are trusting god for the healing of a loved one let's trust the healing anointing and let's let's tap into what god is doing right now father we give you all the praise let there be miracles in the name of jesus christ Father, we thank you. Let there be miracles.
Praise the Lord. Justina. Who is Justina? Justina. Justina. Our time is gone. Justina. I'm hearing a name, Justina. We're going to enter a very strong session um, of deliverance and prophecy. We have to be very fast. I'm trying to conserve time. I'm hearing the name Justina. Justina. What's your name? Justina. You had this song that they just raised now. This song now, my beautifier. That's a song for you. That's what God is doing in your life. Stand up. You know how you make a woman up? Maybe when there's wedding or there's a program. I'm looking at plenty ladies gathering around you. And they're doing all these things for your face. Hmm? This is... This is, are you married? God is opening the door of marriage for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Justina. Mama? Thank you, Mama. Uh, Justina. Justina. Mama. Pray for you. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. My dear, look at me. Lift your hands. I'm seeing something like oil being put on you. I stretch my hands towards you. And I decree and declare, let that anointing come upon your life. Change your story forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Madam, what's your name? Justina. Justina. Do you know why I'm saying that? I'm looking in a vision and I'm seeing this woman. I'm seeing you holding a man. You are walking and later on I see you walking alone. Where's your husband? Dead son. Yes. Dead. He's what? Dead. He's dead. Oh, he's dead. You mean? Yes, um, I want to pray for you. Don't be afraid, because I'm seeing something that looks like the face of your husband calling you to come. That's not your husband. That's a demon spirit. I have to pray. The living and the dead don't have anything in common, madam. I want to pray for you. Are we together now? Yes, mm. So I'll lay my hands in the name of Jesus. I avert death from your life. In the name of Jesus. Everything bringing your husband's face to call you is not love. He's dead. He's gone. In the name of Jesus, I separate you. Mama. The Lord is going to... I, I've, I've known this madam and the case in their family, but there is a yoke of suffering. This is the first time God is showing me this. Wahala. Mm, and God is going to take it away Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ I know about her daughter's issue I've been following up with the family but I look at this woman and the Lord said there is a cause of hardship nothing that anybody does really really works it must turn later on and there are many people like that well soon I'm coming to you that thing must leave you I told you about this hardship hardship is one of the major reasons people don't smile hardship is more than poverty praise the Lord my mind, the name of Jesus, I pray for you. May the Lord himself locate you. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Your name is Josina? My mother and my younger sister. Where is she? Where is she? Okay, your mother and your younger sister. In the name of Jesus. The prayer I want to pray for you now. I can't remember which miracle service, but... Please, just help Mama. She's under the anointing. Get a chair or something. Someone donate your chair. Let her sit down and calm down. God is doing something in her family. Just keep her somewhere, please. I've prayed it before, but the Lord is saying I should tell you again that your family is entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. It's entering a season of reward. The Lord himself will make it happen. I'm hearing affinity. 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 Please make sure it's your name. What's your name? The affinity I'm talking about is here somewhere. Um, you're younger. I'll pray for you. Affinity. This person is outside. Affinity. 
the Lord is telling me there's somebody outside Afiniki. Afiniki. If I could appear here as God, what I would tell you based on what I've seen is congratulations. God is going to do something in your life that will surprise you. How many prayer requests did you write? Six. Six. Go outside. Read number four very well. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Hallelujah. Are you a Finike? Father, in the name of Jesus, visit this family. In the mighty name of Jesus. This lady, this one, my sister, you, looking at me, come. Please, let's, let's save time. I don't want us to stay here too long. Is this your first time here? You've been coming here. I have to pray for you. Where are you from? Edo State. I want to pray for you. Kai, what I'm seeing is not good. Hmm? I'm looking at you and I'm seeing, you know, the horn of a calf. That's what I'm seeing on you. And we have to pray. I'm not saying you're a demon. You get what I'm saying? This is your miracle service is where God sets us free. Hold my hands. Hold it. Hold it with both of your hands. Hold it with both of your hands. Lord Jesus, please set this lady free. There are many things wrong, but the Lord is bringing order. In the name of Jesus Christ, I hold your hands now and I judge the horns of wickedness. The horns of wickedness. If I don't pray for you, your life is going to be full of suffering and strange disappointment from men. In the name of Jesus, Zebrakatos Calabriata. I command by the anointing of the Holy Ghost right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ let there be deliverance for you now I lay my hands on your head and I decree and declare that everything you are carrying that is not of the Christ I command it to leave you now and I pray that every legal access upon which the devil is attempting to destroy your life I plead the blood on your behalf right now in the name of Jesus I set you free Agnes, 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 Agnes. There's someone with that name, Agnes. Agnes, Agnes. Agnes. I wish I had time. Kai. Agnes. You are Agnes. You're what? Who is Agnes here? Who is Agnes? Your mother gave you Agnes. Who is that? Your name is Agnes. Your name is Agnes. I'll pray for you, but I'm seeing Agnes and the Lord. Your Agnes, your mother. Are they sisters? Yeah, they are. Who is this? It's their wife. They are all sisters. Three of them are sisters. Who is this? She's yeah, brother's wife. I'm looking at this and the Lord is saying, let's avert. I'm looking at this picture, it's empty, but I'm saying rest in peace. Huh? Lord Jesus, by your mercy, she lit. She's alive. I'm not a prophet of doom. I hope you understand. When I see this, it's, it's the Lord trying to avert something. I avert tears from your family. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for you that the Lord will help you. In Jesus' name. There is an impartation that God is giving you. God is bringing you into a dimension of the anointing. It's, it's a strange level of grace that you are going to enter into. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that by this grace, He's going to lift you to a dimension that you have never seen. It will make you a light. I'm seeing a torchlight shining. And the Lord is saying, this is your destiny to come with great illumination. In the name of Jesus, your Agnes, two of you, as i lay my hands on you whatever the issue is the lord is stepping in right now in the name of jesus christ 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 <sighs> jesus how time flies see these are some of the things that before you know it just talking to people and it's already 10 and there is a lot to do right now because we're going to we're going to pray there are people who are going to go through very massive deliverance my sister this sister holding photos come come yes come now my dear Kai. Uh, i 
have to pray for you. What I'm seeing, who is this one again? Agnes. Madam, you're Agnes. I have to pray for you. Uh -uh. Where are you coming from? Stretch your hands and pray that this woman will not die. I kept looking at her because I'm seeing burial ceremony happening and I'm seeing her same face inside the coffin. What is this thing with this spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ? Please pray. You may not know how it doesn't matter. In the name of Jesus, we avert death. Hallelujah. Father, I lay my hands on this madam and in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare that your grace will preserve her Amen. by the power of your spirit in the name of Jesus. My dear, I want to pray for you. Are you married? Look at me. Look at me. I want to pray for you. There is serious bad luck in your life. You know what they say? Bad luck. Bad luck that at least if some things are happening and other things are not happening but when there is nothing at all happening in your life it's not good in the name of jesus i lay my hands may the god of all grace may the god of mercy step in right now in the name of jesus christ by the power of god's grace come darling come this small girl i keep seeing this girl again and again god is going to use this girl in a very mighty way in a very mighty way believe me this forget that you are seeing a little girl god is going to use her in ways that will surprise people father use this lady beyond imagination in the name of jesus let her experience your grace and your power in the name of jesus your grace and your power in the name of jesus there was a man and a woman that were sitting in front here just where i'm standing like an elderly man one one gentleman and a lady where are they please look for them are you together come how are you sir can i pray for you your, your first time here this is your first time from where from abuja i want to pray for you god is going to change your story i saw this since when i came up it's just that now the lord said minister to them i don't know you never seen you but i want to pray for you let me tell you sir except the lord builds a house they labor in vain hmm? except the lord builds a house it doesn't mean i'm, I'm what do you do i'm seeing contracts it will be like it's coming but then it will disappear is that true yes one of the major things that brought you here because you are very skilled and you are very good there was you are supposed to have been a multi-millionaire since last year there is a big contract that god would have given you but for some reason the thing just went even you is still surprising you how that thing did not work is that true you you thought you offended the person you worked with because i noticed it's like you are communicating then communication broke there's no communication. yes is that true i want to pray for you you believe god can change stories you heard what i said here what's your relationship Oh, you are the wife. Wife, God is about to visit your family. In, say amen. In remarkable ways. You are an architect. You believe what I'm telling you? Look, let me tell you something. You see, brothers and sisters, we are going to pray, but this thing eh, is not by power and by might. One. Two, it's not by hustling. Are we together? It's not by just God uses men, but blessings don't come from men. They come from God through men to you. I want to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. You have children? How many? Is that all? Don't be embarrassed. I usually will not. You saw that I kept quiet, Abby? Huh? Because I'm hearing the cry of a baby. And I'm seeing a hospital and I'm seeing it's a baby girl. This is what I'm seeing. You see, I'm not... <laughs> I hope I'm not messing two of you up. Oh, you have wonderful couples that came in peace for the issue of finances. But then, please don't be surprised whatever happens. God is in control. It's the will of God. Eh? Um, two children is not what 
because what i'm seeing you will be surprised i don't want to say this thing in public you said you have two children okay we'll see and then we'll talk about that eh? so that we don't uh... but in the name of jesus hold my hands the lord is going to honor you father lift this man up in the name of jesus i release an anointing enter a strange level of favor you came from abuja in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ madam as i pray for you the lord is going to open doors of favor beyond your imagination step into that dimension in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ lift your hands the guys outside are still there with them okay please um we have a few minutes and i want to pray seriously i want to god is going to be visiting people in very strange ways right now are we together please i like your heart to be connected there are everything that is sitting on anyone's destiny i'm going to pray and as i begin to pray i want you to believe god for a miracle a miracle come the lord keeps speaking to me about this lady's family that this family he will not rest until this family enters her rest that's what the lord is telling me praise the lord lift your hands sharp record to support. listen when we pray like this it's not just some jamboree to see people manifest now that's not the idea but that there are spirits there are spirits lady look at me shift please Osha, shift let me talk to that lady just tap her let her see me and noise her hold on just where you are lift your hands i'm seeing something crying and jumping out of you i stretch my hands let it leave you now and leave you forever in the name of jesus brothers and sisters let me tell you spirits are real they take advantage 90 percent of people's challenges are caused by the presence of spirits and when we pray like this much more than the manifestation it is god visiting you to separate you from the obstacles that's really it you may come with 10 prayer requests caused by one spirit and just that spirit leaving you you go back and you see testimonies are we together lift your hands i want to pray jesus at the count of three please i want you to shout jesus please just if you can just clear the aisles for me it's going to be very 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 serious right now few minutes please let's be patient this is the last miracle service and let god do what he will do now at the count of three i want you all to shout the name jesus we do this every time not as a ritual it is a name that is above all names that every power and every force that dares to sit upon anyone's life manipulating the outcomes of your physical results in the name of jesus as you shout jesus inside outside may that fire begin to locate men are you ready now at the count of three one two three i command judgment on every strange spirit in the name of jesus please bring them out in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every force sitting on anyone's destiny it's time for you to let them go by the power that is in the name of jesus inside and outside i command judgment on the wicked lift your hands one more time we're going to shout jesus lift your hands at the count of three the spirits of ancestry sitting on families that you will not rise let them go now one two three go 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 i open the door and i command you to leave them now leave their destinies now Lift 
lift your hands i want to pray the bible says he has redeemed us from every tribe and every tongue and every nation but there are spirits that are rejecting it listen i'm seeing people in dreams having all kinds of intercourse with strange spirits and you wake up in the morning with bad luck you go to bed and a spirit human or animal entities i'm seeing it at the count of three something will happen to you that will set you free one two three shout jesus let them go release their destinies now strangers of the night strangers of the night i command you let them go lift your hands i'm still praying we are still praying i don't know why god is showing me dreams dreams destiny is manipulated through dreams manipulated through dreams you are going to shout that name again fire will come on you and that will be the end of it everyone here whose dream has been hijacked and the devil is bringing wars to your life at the count of three be free now one two three be free now be free now be free now your hands i want to destroy patterns what happened to you happened to your brother what happened to your mother happened to your father they raped your mother they are now raping you they destroyed your father they are now destroying you no way in christ the bible says we have been separated let me tell you hold on many of you the power of god will come upon you from this prayer there are strange patterns abnormal coincidences that bring war to people's lives lift your hands when it's time to shout shout it with all your heart my god and my king i ask that you move like a mighty man and destroy patterns patterns at the count of three one two three be destroyed patterns patterns i curse you in the name of jesus hallelujah please i like you to be sensitive there is a strong anointing god is doing a quick work very few minutes i don't know why god does it but he gives me that direction that as i begin to move around many things happen at once deliverance impartation several things just happen listen whatever your challenge is i want you to just it's not about me there are angelic just leave them that in the name of jesus as i walk around very fast god is going to step in and the power of god if there is anything unresolved as i pass your row i want you to believe the god of heaven is stepping stepping over your life right now stepping over your life in the name of jesus that anything that is yet to be settled i stretch my hands now right now let the anointing of the holy ghost begin to settle people in the name of jesus i command it i command it everything everything that is not of god of this role everything i cost you i cost you now in the name of jesus i decree and i declare by the anointing of the holy ghost be free now be free in the name of jesus lift your hands i decree i decree i'm seeing chains chains on this road lose them now lose them now lose them now lose them now by the anointing of the holy spirit lose them now be sensitive as the anointing comes to you is bringing you out now in the name of jesus 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 
Hallelujah. And listen, those of you outside, I want you to be sensitive. Our time is gone, but we're going to be very fast. As I pass your row, many of you will see that the anointing of the Spirit will come on you. The Lord is bringing breakthrough in the name of Jesus right now. Let there be breakthrough from the front row. Right down as I walk through. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Miracles, breakthroughs. Right now, by the anointing of the Spirit. Receive it right now. Receive it. I open closed doors. God is opening someone's doors here. I command doors be open. Doors be open. Just believe by faith. Doors be open. Doors be open. As I come close to you, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The anointing of the Holy Ghost is bringing that miracle right now. Let it be over. Let it be over. I stretch my hands. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. Let it be over in the name of Jesus. This last miracle service. My sister, your tears are over. That's what the Lord is saying. Your tears are over. The mighty God is moving on your behalf. Please lift your hands. I command it. Receive right now. Receive right now. An anointing is coming on people. Receive right now. Believe by faith. Receive right now. Change their stories. Change their stories. Change their left and right. Left and right. The Holy Ghost is touching people. Over, over. Captivity over. As I come to your road, believe by faith. I stretch my hands. Somebody in this road, your destiny has been tied. I lose you now. I lose you now. I lose you now. The anointing of the Spirit is coming on you. Wherever you are, I lose you now. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. Bad luck, bad luck. Leave him now. Over. Over forever. Over forever. Over. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands on this road. I stretch my hands. Receive that grace. Right now, receive that grace. Receive that grace by the anointing of the Spirit. Shabbata Katos. I cast this devil out of him now in the name of Jesus there's somebody here the Lord is saying open the door of marriage I open it I don't know who that is receive the anointing now receive the anointing now now please those of you this will take note I'm seeing an anointing. Shabe koto osaka, eleke teko shoto preke te, skatali katos, shebrek area. There is a great man of God that God is raising here. Out of this row, this row here, an anointing is coming on someone. A strange grace, please help them. In the name of Jesus, you will never, never be the same. Never be the same. God is solving people's problems. It has taken 10 years, but I'm solving it. The Lord is saying, it has taken 10 years, but I'm solving your problem. Lady, look at me. The Lord is wiping your tears. That's what the Lord is saying. It's over, over, over by the Spirit. Over by the Spirit for your family. Over, over by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Please, I want you to receive by faith. Believe. Someone is being healed here. God is taking away a family sickness, a pattern. Let it go now. This row I'm standing on. Please believe, release your faith. In the name of Jesus. I'm standing here and I'm hearing a new song. A new song. God is giving some persons here a new song. Receive it right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, please believe. My dear, look at me, lift your hands. This lady. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands here. I'm seeing the number 11. Lord, everyone that must enter their destiny here, I separate you from witchcraft now. 11 people. Right now. Sukatos kaparukatos. There's someone in the media stand around the media there. I'm seeing like lights just entered you and you are rising to a new dimension. 
I saw someone at the media stand. I've seen two people at the, the minister's row. The minister's row. The Lord is touching them. Two people. A strange anointing for speed. I'm stretching my hands here right now. And in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Step into that dimension of your destiny. Hallelujah. Please everyone, very quickly, our time is up. I want you to lift your prayer request. Pass it to the last person quickly. Quickly, please. Our time is up. Let's, let's just be, please be patient with me. We'll be done in a jiffy, but we need to do this a very quick walk. It doesn't matter where I stand. I don't have to stand in front. Just leave, please, ushers, very quickly coordinate yourselves and collect them. Just lift it, pass it to the last person, and that last person, lift it up, please. Lift it up so that the ushers can collect. Everyone say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that between now and the end of this year every prophetic word over my life must come to pass lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice don't look at me pray I decree and I declare that between now and December every prophetic word that has been decreed every prophetic word that has been decreed must come to pass every prophetic word that has been decreed where are the ushers they should collect you go ahead and pray go ahead and pray every prophetic word say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus i decree and declare the grace for extraordinary results i receive it right now lift your voice and pray please pray as you are praying you are receiving it In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare. Please pray it, pray it with faith. A manifestation. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. Every human agent that needs to partner with God to take me to the place of destiny, I call you into my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and declare in the name of Jesus. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Every dormant gift, every dormant ability within me that should bless me but is not yet activated, I activate it by the anointing. Lift your voice and pray. Every dormant gift, every ability. Every dormant gift, every ability by the anointing of the Holy Ghost activated. Say in the name of Jesus, the grace for supernatural direction into the will of God for my life I receive that grace now open your mouth and pray the grace for direction into the accurate will of God
two more prayer points say in the name of jesus i take authority over the spirit of fear in my life in my family i decree and declare that i no longer fear lift your voice and pray i cast the spirit of fear fear of the future fear of death fear of sickness last prayer point in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus every dimension of the anointing that must come upon me for the next season i open up my spirit and i receive it into my life lift your voice and pray the anointing is the difference The anointing is a difference. Hallelujah. Now, very quickly, I want you to stretch your hands. You've heard the testimonies that come from this. This is a mystery that God gave those online i want you to stretch your hands from whatever nation of the world you're connecting from just whether it's your device whatever just believe by faith families gather together and we're here praying we're believing god the god of all flesh i want you to stretch your hands here as i bow my knees to the god of heaven and pray on these requests in the name of jesus christ all i want you to be saying is lord everything i've dropped here i pick it up as a testimony are we together open your mouth and pray i decree and declare in the name of jesus please make sure all the requests are here make sure that the requests are here please pray I pick it up as testimonies. Are you praying? Lekata prakatosh. Lekata pako roto soto prekete shakata kata parakatos. Turn it around, oh God. Turn it around, oh God. Impossible situations. Turn it around, oh God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare that the same way I'm stepping on this request, that's how you rise above every challenge here. no matter how impossible the situation is i agree with you whether it is academic career marital financial whatever it is we release our faith to the god of all flesh and we command that the requests are turned to testimonies someone is saying god can you do it for me before december yes sir yes sir yes sir I decree and declare this is what the Lord is ministering to me someone is saying Lord I know you would do it but can you do it before December in the name of Jesus may my God surprise you there are issues here that ordinarily 
will take years to be done but in the name of jesus before this year listen you will not enter 2018 with this request in the name of jesus i decree and declare i know you didn't apply for the job and you've been hearing people say they get jobs supernatural i don't know whether you believe it or not but i stand on your request and i release a miracle for you in the name of jesus christ i release a miracle for you please i want you to receive it as i speak over your finances this finance thing you see there is the prophetic dimension of wealth don't ever join any naysayer to believe that when god helps you financially it doesn't advance your life people who talk those things are either ignorant or wicked are we together many people are grounded almost forever purely because of finances this finance thing can punish you and disgrace you again and again i decree and declare every financial shame represented in anyone's life here by prophecy in the name of jesus may your story change like day and night if there is any one of you that wrote any request that has to do with a financial miracle i stand in the name of jesus my god and my king the one who has helped this ministry before december ending in the name of jesus I put laughter in your mouth <laughs> hallelujah Mary said how shall these things be seeing that I know not a man if you are here trusting God for the fruit of the womb before this year ends you will confirm that you are already pregnant in the name of Jesus listen I'm prophesying for anybody here you have prepared yourself but this job thing has refused to come in the name of Jesus whether there is space or not one is created here and you are put there in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and I declare by the spirit of the living God everyone in need of direction clear direction that you are saying lord where do i settle where do i go to do i do business do i get a job in the name of jesus before this weekend wraps up in the dream of a night may my god come to you and visit you In the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God I pray for you the visions you saw by January not one of them has happened now and you are wondering I'm seeing someone you have a list of 10 things not prayer request 10 things that you agreed with God at the beginning of this year not one has happened the Lord is saying I should tell you all 10 must happen before the end of this year In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah some of us are in situations where you cannot help yourself you need a helper this is a, a helper somebody to just come and lift you I don't know who taught you that God doesn't send men to help men listen let me tell you this is a wicked world where nobody helps you on his own but my brother my sister when God points you and asks men to help you to surprise you the God who has helped me, I have seen small of God's grace in this help. Oh, I pray for you, Ebenezer, the one that helps men. May my God help you. May my God help your ministry. May my God help your business. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, as you're standing here, everything caused struggle in your life. 
you are waving it goodbye tonight in the name of jesus listen i know some of you don't believe it that's why you will not see it but for those who believe it i say it again that anything called struggle in the name of jesus christ the same way when the sun comes out it dries the water that is on a wet cloth i pray that may god arise and wipe every tears anyone here saying oh god don't just visit me alone come through for my family i pray for you there are families the kind of breakthrough they need is only god that can give them i ask that god to give them now in the name of jesus christ all of you here in business i prophesy to you by the anointing of the holy spirit I don't care what you are doing provided it's in righteousness i decree and declare the grace that makes things succeed let it come upon the works of your hands in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone here or any of your loved ones due for promotion and they've been sitting on their promotion because of tribal sentiments I decree and declare like the chronicles was opened by King Ahasuerus and Mordecai was lifted overnight I declare that may God use men to lift your people to their rightful place every force that has covered anyone's glory here you keep seeing things in the spirit but they never manifest I decree upon you in the name of jesus christ between now and the end of the year may the god of all grace surprise you if there is anything in your life that is missing missing script missing result missing brother missing sister missing whatever it is in the name of jesus just as samuel prophesied and the donkey went back to the house of Kish. I command everything that has left you to return to you. Yeah. Two more prophetic words and we're done. The Lord is still asking me to pray over the power to prosper. I know that many of you this is not some prosperity jargon just believe this thing trust god settle it and do other important kingdom things i pray for you in the name of jesus by the god who has helped this ministry i pray there is there is an exact anointing that prospers men where in one day god can give you someone's salary of a lifetime i pray for you if you have never seen that dimension of favor I stretch my hands to you. May it happen in your life now. You will wake up in the morning and they will hand you landed properties. By the favor of God. If there is any family here that as a family with matured grown-up children you are still staying in a rented apartment i decree and declare you may not know how it will happen but by the finger of god i lift you to your own place if there is any human being partnering with darkness to see that you will not see 2018 in the name of jesus i stand here may the sword of judgment fall on them now yeah. hallelujah listen to me if there is anything that according to god's calendar should have entered your life but was delayed through whatever reason i'm saying it now in the name of the lord god almighty whom i serve between now and december an avalanche of pending miracles released to you
hear me there are people who god will give business ideas overnight and by the end of this year you'll be feeding others in the name of jesus may the god i serve take hardship out of your life may the god that i serve take sorrow out of your life may the god that i serve take up today down tomorrow from your life finally i pray for your spiritual life please be sensitive i decree and i declare if your spiritual life dies everything dies i stretch my hands a dimension of the gift of the spirit that you are trusting god for for a long time and has not come upon your life a dimension of the anointing you have trusted god for but has not come upon your life a dimension of prayer you have trusted god for and has not yet come upon your life a dimension of revelation and illumination you are trusting god for and has not come upon your life a dimension of influence in the spirit visions revelations the prophetic as i stretch my hands let there be a distribution of these graces now receive it right now let there be a distribution of these graces now hear me this is the last miracle service and i decree and declare to you everything that represents triumph as declared by the mouth of god almighty i command and i declare that the angel that was sent to signify this prophetic word may they confirm that word in your life hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be that's what my song will be hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be sing it one more time hallelujah hallelujah that's what my song will be that's what my song will be our time is gone but this is our last this is not the last service it's only the last miracle service now very quickly please keep standing everyone there are people standing here this is your last miracle service we're not going to have any other one for this year we have about two three more services and we're done completely as a ministry for the year you are right here and the lord is speaking to you and saying son daughter you need to make your ways right with me don't argue it your overflow one overflow two you know overflow three and anywhere connecting with us online wherever you are you're rededicating your life to jesus or you are making that decision for the first time please our time is up but then i cannot but give you an opportunity to truly truly receive jesus wherever you are don't be ashamed leave your seat very quickly i'm counting one to five for the sake of time make your way to the front right now let's honor them as they come one god bless you as you come god bless you as you come there should be many people coming there should be many people i expect so many people coming two clear the way for those coming from overflow two overflow three because of your distance just walk to the front of your projector screen overflow three because of time just walk to the front of your projector screen three someone here is saying lord i'm tired of everything failing tired i'm handing everything to you four jesus is still speaking to people make your way to the front god bless you god bless you one more count and we're done is someone still coming win that war tonight 
and run to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whoever will come to him, he will in no wise cast away. Hallelujah. God bless you. Lift your hands, those of you in front and those connecting online, wherever you are in the silence of your room, your phone, your device, wherever. I want you to just believe with me. Lift your hands and say this after me. Say it sincerely. Don't just recite it as a poem in the name of Jesus. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you shed your blood for me. Tonight, I receive you truly and sincerely as my Lord and my Savior. I decree and I declare that I have eternal life in my spirit. Please help the person under the anointing. And I declare that the Spirit of God lives in me. The grace to live a victorious life is mine right now in the name of Jesus. Keep your hands lifted. I stretch my hands, the anointing of the Spirit smashing away every challenge in everyone's life those of you standing i decree that every legal access the devil has over your life i decree and declare that your sins are forgiven a new chapter is opened over your destiny i release you to a life of victory a life of power and effective christian life in the name of jesus may the grace of god speak for you in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. All of you, there is a gentleman waving his hands. Please just follow this gentleman and they will um, communicate a few details to you and you'll be back to your seat. Let's honor God as they go. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain 